Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of our sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. We remember today in our prayers, especially Pope Francis, whose anniversary of election to the papacy is today. O God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Taking Abram outside, the Lord said, Look up to heaven and count the stars if you can. Such will be your descendants, he told him. Abram put his faith in the Lord, who counted this as making him justified. I am the Lord, he said to him, who brought you out of Ur of the Chaldeans to make you heir to this land. My Lord, the Lord, Abram replied, how am I to know that I shall inherit it? He said to him, Get me a three-year-old heifer, a three-year-old goat, a three-year-old ram, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. He brought him all these, cut them in half, and put half on one side and half facing it on the other. But the birds he did not cut in half. Birds of prey came down on the carcasses, but Abram drove them off. Now as the sun was setting, Abram fell into a sleep, and terror seized him. When the sun had set and darkness had fallen, there appeared a smoking furnace and a fire ban that went between the halves. That day, the Lord made a covenant with Abram in these terms. To your descendants I give this land, from the wadi of Egypt to the great river. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. For us, our homeland is in heaven, and from heaven comes the Saviour we are waiting for, the Lord Jesus Christ, and he will transfigure these wretched bodies of ours into copies of his glorious body. He will do that by the same power with which he can subdue the whole universe. So then, my brothers and dear friends, do not give way, but remain faithful in the Lord. I miss you very much, dear friends. You are my joy and my crown. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, O King of endless glory. From the shining cloud the Father's voice is heard. This is my beloved Son, hear him. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, O King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took with him Peter and John and James and went up the mountain to pray. As he prayed, the aspect of his face was changed, and his clothing became brilliant as lightning. Suddenly there were two men there talking to him. They were Moses and Elijah, appearing in glory, and they were speaking of his passing, which he was to accomplish in Jerusalem. Peter and his companions were heavy with sleep. They kept awake and saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As these were leaving him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is wonderful for us to be here. So let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what he was saying. As he spoke, a cloud came and covered them with shadow. And when they went into the cloud, with the, the disciples were afraid. And a voice came from the cloud, saying, This is my Son, the Chosen One. Listen to him. And after the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. The disciples kept silence, and at that time told no one what they had seen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is a very well-known passage in Luke's Gospel, a very well-known event in Jesus' life, where he ascends the mountain and there is transfigured on its summit in the presence of Peter and John and James. And what happens in this event? His clothes become brilliant light, like lightning. Appearing next to him are Elijah and Moses. It's pretty remarkable. And because it is so remarkable and captures the apostles so much, they want to stay there. They want to stay there with Jesus. Now, you might be wondering, how does this apply to us in Lent as we're beginning our Lenten journey? And we're reminded in Lent there are three pillars, three areas of focus by which we are called to improve ourselves spiritually. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. An important aspect is prayer, one of the three pillars. And prayer is often thought of in the scriptures as ascending a mountain in order to encounter a transfigured Jesus so that like the apostles, we might be captured by his beauty, by his radiance. But ascending a mountain, we must remember that ascending a mountain is difficult. It is arduous. It requires putting one foot in front of the other over and over again in order to reach the summit. 
And prayer can sometimes be a bit like that. It can feel dry. It can feel like a bit of a a task, an arduous task. But commitment to prayer, that is how you will encounter the transfigured Jesus and allow him to transform your life. Amen. We'll now profess our faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God's covenant has been revealed through the ages. Let us turn to him in faith and ask for our needs that the church will be transformed by the power of Christ. We seek your face. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer in this life will find comfort in the glorified Christ. We seek your face. Lord, hear our prayer. That those gathered here will always make time to be in the presence of God. We seek your face. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died will meet the transfigured Christ. We seek your face. Lord, hear our prayer. Faithful God, you reveal yourself to those who seek you with sincere hearts. Help us listen to your Son, so that we may have a share in Christ's transfigured glory. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands 
for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death, on the holy mountain he manifested to them his glory, to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets, that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together, together with Francis our Pope and Brian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Shining. 
Let us pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us while still on earth to be partakers even now of the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Hi, I'm Bishop Brian Mascord. Thank you for your generous support of Mass for You at Home through prayer, messages and financial support. If you are in a position to contribute or contribute again, you can help secure the ongoing future of this vital ministry. May God continue to bless us all as we seek to follow him.